Hi guys, thanks for clicking on the video today. My name is Elliot Forbes and this is episode number 10 of Men's Grooming Weekly. If this is the first time that we've met, I'm a male grooming specialist based in central London and this channel is dedicated to hair, beard and grooming tips for the modern man. So if that's you, you might want to consider subscribing. Now this is a weekly show, but actually thinking about the C word at the moment, I'm not going to mention it, but there might be some more videos coming your way very shortly. So there's probably going to be lots of them coming. So this is the first Men's Grooming Weekly of this week, but who knows if there'll be more of them or not. So as with every other episode, we're first gonna start off with my favorite TikTok from the last seven days. Now this is actually uh, quite a fun one. I was actually up with my best friend in Liverpool. Uh, there's this real cool place called the Quirky Quarter. If you're in Liverpool or if anyone you know is near Liverpool, go and check it out, it's, it's a lot of fun. And on to the first segment, and it is the product of the week. Okay, so the product that we're gonna be using to style my hair this week is actually the Baxter's Clay Pomade. And as we've seen in the past, Baxter's is a barbershop which they have in California. Uh, and they have quite a few different products, actually. There's some really nice, uh, elegant designs. Actually, on this one, it's, it's a little bit of a different print and a little bit of design, different design, which I haven't actually seen on any of them before, so I don't really know what the special uh, design of it all is, actually. It's got the hundreds on top of it, but it's a little bit of a different print. Normally, it's just like a glass box. Uh, but yeah, slightly different one here. And the way that they describe it, it's a paraben-free hairstyle in clay pomade infused with natural, ethically sourced ingredients such as clay and beeswax. Clay pomade texturizes and molds hair into place to deliver a strong, pliable hold, works well in any hair type. Now something that always really annoys me about when hair products and hair companies call all of their products pomade, so a clay pomade or a paste pomade, and it's a pomade is like in the traditional sense is like a water-based sort of slick pompadour hairstyle product is how I picture it. Whereas this, it's either a clay or it's a pomade. It's not a clay pomade. And so I never really get that with a lot of American companies, but they tend to do that. But, and this is a firm hold, matte finish, and why you'll love it. Perfect for cool, undone styles, matte, pliable hold, so hair isn't stiff, texturizes without any shine. Now the price of this, I believe it's about 19 pounds in the UK. I remember, I think that's what we were selling it for when we were at Joe & Co. I guess if online, you could probably get it for a little bit cheaper than that. And the main ingredients, Petroletum, Sarah Alba, beeswax. Okay, so in it is one, two, three, four, five, six that water is mentioned. Now water products tend to work better on my hair, anything that's got more of the petroleum or anything that's got like the clay or the beeswax in there, they tend to not be amazing on my hair actually. They tend to sort of weigh it down and end up making my hair look a little bit greasy. So we'll see how this works because uh, I've heard a lot of good reviews about it. I've actually used it a couple times in the shop. Um, and it's, it's always looked quite cool when people have walked out, but obviously not really them enough to see the full look after and assess it really, after a few hours of, of use. So let's try it out. So when you open it, it's actually it's very much like what you would expect from a clay. It's sort of thick, uh, waxy, oily based feeling. Uh, you take it out, work it through your hands. Uh, you have to really warm it up, and, and then, but it does warm up in your hands very nicely and very easily. Uh, it's got a real distinctive smell to it actually, and even I was actually cutting someone's hair yesterday. It could smell the hair. Uh, I could smell the product and, and what it was straight away. I knew that's what they were using. It's got a very distinctive smell. It's kind of like a very licorice-y, uh, like a black licorice smell to it. But it's actually, it's, it's not really very offensive. It's, it's, it's really quite a nice smell, I would say. Actually, I don't really like the smell of licorice normally or like the taste of licorice at all. But actually, this is quite pleasing. You warm it up in your hands and instantly you're getting that grittiness feeling. Uh, it, it almost feels as though there's sort of like some grains in there. And it's when you then put it into the hair, it's... It, it, you, you instantly feel as though it's grabbing onto the hairs and it, it's, it's easy to work through it because it's obviously got that oil base so you're it, it's constantly working through you've got that sort of oily greasy feel to it uh, but it's got the grittiness which so almost feels as though it dries it out a little bit as you can see it gives it a real nice PC texture uh, it's actually even when just styling it up then it felt like it maintained the, the volume and the height in there quite well I mean even though it's looking in the mirror now it looks like it's, it's actually maintained that a lot more than what even I would expect normally from something this this way inclined. Normally in my hair it tends to drop very quickly. Uh, but it felt like it's actually sort of sat in and held into that this place straight away actually. 
Now, due to the nature of the product, it was incredibly hard to wash off your hands. I had two washes and you could still like scrape it off and you could still get some residue on your hand. Almost when you were drying it with a towel, you had to feel like that was actually not just drying it, that was sort of almost wiping some off as well. So it's, I mean, it is gonna be that way. So if I'm being honest, I'm dreading having to actually wash it out of my hair because I feel like it's gonna be a real, effort and it's going to have to use something very stripping to be able to get it actually all the way out of your hair but i do actually love the way that it looks so we'll have to see how this lasts then during the day and now on to part two and it's my top five grooming gods of the week and in at number five is this look from david shooter and it's a real disconnected disheveled look uh, i love the texture that's going on through there i love how it's got the the undercut it's not too crazy, not too wild, but it gives it a real nice uh, difference between the top and the sides. The top flows back nicely. Uh, not one for another cut normally, but I think this looks great. In number four is this haircut from Guess. I love the texture, I love the, the tone of the colour. Uh, it almost looks like it was done a while ago and it's been let to just grow out. Uh, it sort of looked like it was a, probably a short haircut and left to grow out. Uh, and it's just not too done. Something that's a little bit more rugged, a little bit less uh, sharp and precision, something that just looks quite cool. And something that not really a lot of people can pull off, but actually when it is pulled off, it looks amazing. In at number three is this photo from Montclair. I uh, love the haircut and the shape on this guy. It's a lovely silhouette. It's, it, there's not really any product in there. It's just been cut into a really nice, elegant shape. The texture through that fringe, it's really nice and broken up, uh, and it just falls very elegantly. When the haircut is cut correctly, you can just sit there without really having to put too much product into it, and I think this looks really, uh, this is a great example of that. And in number two, this is another example of what I was saying with uh, a haircut done well. Now this is obviously a little bit of a different look. It's more of a sort of a Beatles feel to it with it being very heavy and through that the fringe and and through the sides uh, it's much more of a less mainstream look than the look previous but something that is really cool something that is you've seen a lot on the fashion week something that's really quite fashion focused and fashion forward I would say and now we're in at number one is this photo of Piers Brosnan actually from this week uh, and I love the fact that he's gone out and does something completely different something out of the mainstream looks very much like KFC Mr. Colonel uh, but really the main reason why I love this photo as well is actually because the woman in the back of the security is actually my first manager when I moved down to London and worked at Ruffians and it's Lily great woman real good fun personality uh, and she actually popped in to try and see me on the sh at the shop on uh, when she was actually doing the security for Piers Brosnan this day, but I wasn't actually in. Um, so that's why he is number one this week, because he's been different and it's also got my friend in the photo. And finally, we're now onto the Elliot Answers Show. And today's question is, how do I get my hair to be flat and slicked back like Charlie Hunnan? Well, you can see actually, yeah, Charlie's hair there, it sits back very elegantly, it is very tight to the head, uh, but doesn't look like it's too really sort of like pulled tight back or like really blow dried back into a shape. And the reason why his is able to sit back in a position like that is because his growth pattern is not really too strong in any direction. And if anything, actually is a growth pattern that sits backwards. Uh, when you have fine, well, when you have blonde hair, it's actually there is more head, more hairs on the head normally, but each individual hair is actually quite fine. So actually you should be able to move it around quite easily because the hair is quite fine. When you have dark hair, each individual hair is thicker and then there is uh, less density but it also then means it's, it's harder for it to move around. So with Charlie's hair being fine, obviously then it's easy for it to be able to sit back or push it in whichever way it wants to. When we look at your hair, with it being dark and we can tell that actually it's very thick, very heavy and very bushy, you can tell just straight away by the volume that it has through the sides and through that top that you're never really gonna get it's something to sit back and slick back unless you go really long with it. Uh, and even then it's still gonna feel as though you've got quite a lot of volume and really quite a lot of heaviness in through there. Two very different types of textures of hair uh, and to get that same look for the same length, it's not gonna happen. It's just, it's, it's just knowing the difference between the two. Uh, so what I would say is if you want something that sticks back and goes, sits flatter, you're gonna have to grow out an awful lot. The only way that you would be able to get it really tight is if you really blow dry it very well and put a lot of effort into it. You're gonna to have to really work with the brush to get that as flat as possible. You're gonna have to, you would have to spend a lot of time manipulating that. And realistically, if it's something you're gonna to wanna to do every day, I would say probably not. So I hope that helps. And now it's time to check on how this hair lasted throughout this day. 
So we're at the end of the day, and actually, the hair has actually lasted really quite nicely, actually. It's, it's lasted, or it's, it's actually been a lot better than what I was really expecting. I would say, actually, it's, it's kept quite nice volume in through there. It hasn't got really too greasy. I was expecting it to sort of go onto my face. I was expecting it to really feel as though, like, if you ran your hands through it, there would be quite a bit of residue. But actually, it's, it's been quite pleasurable. It, it stayed in a nice texture, nice shape with it. it doesn't feel too heavy. It hasn't felt like too much shine or too much grease to it. Um, I've actually been very impressed with it. it it's, it's lasted really quite nicely during that day. And even, yeah, and when you run your hands through it, still it, 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 it doesn't really feel like there's any residue and actually feels nice. So for me, this has actually been a real surprising win. And yeah, very happy with this actually. And now back to the rest of the show. Thanks for watching today, guys. If you have any questions or if you want to ask me anything at all, please feel free to. Uh, my DMs are all open, so all my social media channels, they're going to be linked either here or here. I'm not too sure how I'm going to be editing it on this new sort of style with the, with the photo on it. So hit me up on any of them. Uh, more than happy to answer any questions. Or if you want to be featured on the Elliot Answers Show, just drop me a DM. If you've got any feedback on the show, I'd love to hear about it. I am trying new things and trying to make it as good, but I want you guys to enjoy it as well. So if there are any feedback or any questions, please also hit me up with that because it's much appreciated. Have a brilliant day. Much love. Elliot.